Good Thursday morning. This morning's passage comes from the reflection portion of Listening Community. Isaiah 14. How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, O son of dawn. How you are cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven above the stars of God. I will set my throne on high. I will sit on the mount of assembly in the far reaches of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. Jesus quotes from this passage in Luke 10:18 to describe Satan's fall from heaven. This inspired verse refers both to the king of Babylon and to Satan who empowered him. Ezekiel uses similar language about the king of Tyre and Satan empowering him. Some call this passage the five I wills of Satan. I will ascend into heaven, refers to the throne room of God. Satan wants to take that over. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, a reference to Satan's desire to rule angelic beings. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation of the farthest sides of the north is a reference to Satan's rule over the earth and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds refers to Satan's desire to rule the universe. I will be like the Most High. Satan actually wants to be Almighty God. Pride filled Satan's heart so completely that he was no longer concerned with the will of God. This is the same lie Satan used on Eve in the Garden of Eden and he's still using on men and women all over the earth today that they can become God. It's the same sin of rebellion that wants to rear its ugly head in our lives today. As the old saying goes, sin will take you farther than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and cost you more than you want to pay. Not only does sin have consequences, but each time we sin, we reinforce a pattern that becomes harder and harder to break. Your Bible will keep you away from sin, but sin will keep you away from your Bible. Let's remember to engage in it. Lord, please keep evil from us and keep us in the very center of your will today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.